वेलकम टू द मूक साइबर स्मार्ट टीचर मॉड्यूल थ्री साइबर स्मार्टनेस ऑन एजुकेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म 3.2 पॉइंट टू असिंक्रोनस प्लेटफॉर्म इन द लास्ट मॉड्यूल वी हैव सीन अबाउट द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिंक्रोनस प्लेटफॉर्म इन एजुकेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वॉट आर द असिंक्रोनस प्लेटफॉर्म द मीनिंग ऑफ असिंक्रोनस प्लेटफॉर्म असिंक्रोनस ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन रेफर्स to learning activities that do not require real time interaction between teachers and students for example students can access pre recorded lectures reading assignments quizzes discussion at their own pace and convenience for examples uh, of asynchronous learning platforms are google classroom youtube social media groups mooc platform so once the material is uploaded that can be seen that can be accessed by the student at per their convenience a synchronous platform in education is a term that refers to learning environment that does not require real time interaction between instructor and students instead it allows students to access learning materials such as lectures videos reading at any time at their own pace this means that the students can learn whenever and wherever they want as long as they have an internet connection and a device to access the platform so this is one of the alternative for the synchronous platform where student and teacher should be online at the same time and there are many hindrances between uh, students and teacher to get connected so this platforms following the asynchronous mode really helping students to access the learning material from anywhere anytime let us see what are the benefits of the asynchronous platform benefits uh, it provides flexibility and convenience for a learner who have different schedule preferences and learning style like we do have in our course uh, there are many uh, teachers who are working faculty who are working somewhere student they are doing other courses so the the timing may not be match up everyone and uh, in that case the asynchronous mode is very useful it fosters self directed learning and encourage students to take more responsibility for their own learning progress once the material is, uh, is uploaded it's students responsibility to access it it allows instructor to create more engaging and diverse learning content that can cater to different level of the difficulty and interest in the online mode by considering the internet speed and the devices and the time available the modes are limited but when it comes to asynchronous mode the different type of platform different different kind of activities can be used it enables instructor to provide more personalized feedback and support to the student based on their individual needs because they are learning as per their own learning space it reduces says the technical issues and challenges that may arise from synchronous online learning such as network real, uh, reliability uh, system crashes or audio video problems so a synchronous mode is one of the way that can bridge the digital divide there are uh, some uh, drawbacks of the asynchronous platform it may reduce the sense of community and interaction among the students and inter interaction because they are not connecting lively in this in, in ki uh, kind of platform it may cause students to feel isolated or unmotivated if they do not receive enough guidance or feedback from the instructor or peers so there should be regular communication from the uh, instructor regarding joining accessing the learning material it may pose challenges for the students who lack self discipline or time management skill to complete their assignment on time because uh, there is no uh, instructor live over there to observe to supervise so student take the liberty and if they are not self discipline then it will very difficult them to complete the course it may require more efforts from instructor to design effective asynchronous learning activities that can motivate student to engage and retention so thank you for watching complete video